This is breaking news. Now to breaking news. State police are giving an update following a deadly multiple car crash on the Southern State Parkway. At least one person died on the scene and sources tell us at least one of the drivers was going the wrong way. Let's take a listen in. In the town of Islip, Suffolk County, for a wrong way driver, four car fatal collision in which a nine year old boy from Centerport, New York was killed. The nine year old boy was the rear seat passenger in the vehicle that was traveling in the wrong direction and it was his mother that was operating that vehicle. This incident is still under investigation. However, information gathered to this point indicates that the wrong way driver may have been driving the wrong way on Sunrise Highway prior to entering the Southern State Parkway. The collision location was approximately five miles from the intersection of the Sunrise Highway and Southern State Parkway. The wrong way driver was operating a dark colored late model SUV and we are asking anyone that may have witnessed this vehicle or has any other information to share to contact the New York State Police at 631-756-3300. The damage caused by the collision was extensive to all vehicles involved. And to give you an idea of the severity of the impact, the engine of the wrong way driving vehicle was thrown from that vehicle into the woods some distance from the collision point itself. Well prior to that collision, a Suffolk County Sheriff's Office patrol witnessed the vehicle traveling in the wrong direction and attempted to stop that vehicle. However, the wrong way driver sped up and refused to stop. Initial responding state troopers and Suffolk County Sheriff's patrols did their best to care for the nine-year-old boy and did their best to save his life. State troopers jumped in the ambulance with that boy and continued to perform CPR while en route to Southside Hospital. However, their efforts were unsuccessful and the boy was pronounced once they arrived at the hospital. The state troopers did their best to save the boy's life and this was a traumatic experience for all involved. Within the New York State Police, we have a unit we refer to as our EAP, which stands for Employee Assistance Program and consists of New York State Police members that are trained to help others through traumatic and difficult times. The troopers involved in trying to save the boy's life have been connected with our EAP due to the emotions and trauma called, caused as a result of this experience. All other people involved in the collision were transported to Southside Hospital and Good Sam Hospital, and those injuries to all others involved appear to be non-life-threatening at this point. The Suffolk County District Attorney's Office and Attorney General's Office responded to the incident location to assist us in the investigation, and charges are pending against the wrong way driver, who is currently receiving medical care at Good Samaritan Hospitals. Again, her injuries appear to be non-life threatening. Numerous units from within the New York State Police responded to assist in this investigation to include our Bureau of Criminal Investigation, our Collision Reconstruction Unit, our Drug Recognition, our Drug Recognition Unit, and our command staff from both the Uniform and uh, Bureau of Criminal Investigation side of the house. The New York State Department of Transportation Su and Suffolk County Police assisted the state troopers with traffic control. Brentwood Ambulance and Exchange Ambulance responded to transport the victims and Brentwood Fire Department responded as well. Southside Hospital in Bayshore, New York and Good Samaritan Hospital in West Islip, New York provided medical attention to those involved in the collisions. On behalf of myself and the New York State Police, I would like to wish all involved a wish for a speedy recovery. I would also like to wish the family of the nine-year-old and his loved ones my deepest and sincerest condolences. This is a true tragedy. At this time, what I'd like to do is turn it over to Deputy Sheriff John Becker from the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office, and I would also like to take this time to, take, to thank the Sheriff's Department for their assistance out at this scene. It was a very traumatic scene. Uh, there was a lot of emotion out here. There was a lot of effort placed by both sheriff's patrols and the initial responding state troopers to care for this poor.
poor nine-year-old boy to the best of our ability. And we appreciate having the sheriff's patrols there side by side with us, making the best effort possible that we could to do what we could do for that nine-year-old boy. At this time, what I'd like to do is turn it over to Deputy Under Sheriff John Becker. Thank you. Thank you, Major. At 2.15 a.m., a deputy sheriff assigned to our DWI enforcement team was operating a marked sheriff's unit eastbound in the right lane on the Southern State Parkway just east of exit 43, which is Carlton Avenue. He observed a 2022 Mitsubishi SUV going in the wrong direction in the left lane. Our unit turned around, activated his lights and sirens, and attempted to get the vehicle stopped. The vehicle failed to stop and continued going in the wrong direction. Due to the concern for the oncoming traffic, the deputy entered the westbound lanes of the Southern State Parkway and using a turning around, continued to provide updates to our communications. The deputy turned back into the eastbound lanes near Fifth Avenue and came upon a four car collision that, um, that involved the vehicle he was attempting to stop. The deputy secured the scene and proceeded to ascertain injuries to the occupants of the vehicles. A nine-year-old boy was located in the rear of the vehicle the deputy attempted to stop. The deputy removed the boy from the rear seat with the assistance of a New York State trooper. The trooper and the deputy sheriff administered first aid to the injured boy that included CPR and the use of an AED. The boy was transported to Southside Hospital via ambulance where he ultimately passed away. This was a traumatic event for all those involved. A young boy has lost his life. The deputy sheriff involved is assigned to our DWI enforcement team and is a certified drug recognition expert. He goes out every night to remove people from the roads that endanger the lives of the public. He will have the image of this young boy's face forever etched in his memory. We are providing him and the other deputies involved with post-incident care to ensure that they get the help that they need. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the other victims in this incident and we wish them a speedy recovery. We want to thank our partners in the New York State Police and the Suffolk County District Attorney's Office as we work in tandem through this investigation. Thank you. At this time, I'm going to turn it back over to Major Udis. So at this point, I'll take any questions. But before you know, I answer uh, anything. What I what I want to share with all of you is that um, you know, as as you're well aware, this incident happened this morning. Uh, there's a lot of answers that we ourselves are looking for. We're doing our best to answer as many questions as possible. Uh, so with that being said, I want you to understand that I may not have complete and full answers for you. Our, ans our, our intent here today was to get out to you, to the public. I want to thank you for coming, but we may have limited information to share. So with that being said, I'll open it up. Is we'll there start. any information that the mother was drinking and driving? Uh, we, don't, we don't have a confirmation on that yet. That is definitely something that we are exploring. There have not, there have not been any charges filed at this point, but that doesn't mean that that won't change. Do you have the name of the mother or the child? Uh, I don't have that name to provide to you at this point, the reason being is that not all family members have been advised and we're doing our due diligence. We will be providing updates, uh, hopefully in the not too distant future, meaning in a, within a few hours to provide that information to you. But we want to notify the families first. How many people were injured in the other car accident? Uh, how many vehicle people were there? Um, there was, outside of the child, the, the, uh, the mother was injured, uh, minor injuries, not life-threatening, and then the other two operators of the other vehicles were injured, non life threatening Did they have passengers in their vehicles? No passengers, sole occupants. All of the vehicles were occupied by the operators only. And all the operators just suffered minor injuries? Correct. Was yeah, there any indication of the nine-year-old being in a car seat or a bleacher or wearing a seatbelt? He was wearing a seatbelt. Do you have an age on the wrong way driver? Do we have that age? 32 years old. The 32-year-old uh, driver, I think that uh, you just said, um, I may not be the name, but she had a history or anything like that, a drinking and driving? We're not going to discuss her history at this point. Can, can you describe the crash and the impact that would cause the engine to uh, fly away? 
It was a, it was a very severe uh, collision. It was a head-on collision. Um, the, the damage to, to the vehicles involved was extensive. And as I said to you before, to give you an idea, the engine from the vehicle, the wrong way driving vehicle, was thrown, uh, was cut, was severed from the vehicle and, uh, and, and thrown from that vehicle, landing in the woods some distance from the collision point. Do we know where the mother was coming from at that hour? No, we don't have that information. That is something that we are looking to uh, get answers for, but we don't have that information at this point. Uh, that is uh, information we're looking to gather. What I can tell you is that the sheriff's department was nowhere near the the uh, the vehicle when the collision took place. The five miles was mentioned. Was that how far she traveled? We don't know exactly how far she traveled yet. Uh, there are some uh, pieces of information which indicate that that vehicle may have also been driving wrong way, the wrong way on the Sunrise Highway. So uh, the point of that five miles is that this collision occurred five miles from that intersection. Is the wrong way driver a local Long Island resident? Uh, they're from, S from Centerport, New York. The uh, press uh, alert said mother under the influence. So was she given a field sobriety test? Was, were there other indications that she was under the influence? Uh, that is definitely something that we are investigating. Yes, she was given uh, some field sobriety tests. I'm not going to get into the results of those yet. What I can tell you is that she has not been charged, but that doesn't mean that she won't be charged. Can you say, was she up and around at the time of the, when you got there to give a field sobriety test? Or? She was outside of the vehicle, yes. And when you have explained, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to understand the sheriff following her. How long did he follow her? And then he got off to do what? Send out a, like, I just don't understand. Was he, why he went off, what kind of alerts went out, what, what happened in this situation? I'll let, uh, I'll let the sheriff speak to that. Sure. So when he observed this vehicle, um, his priority is the safety of the oncoming motorist. So he's attempting to get this vehicle to stop, uh, but, you know, ultimately was unable to do so. That vehicle continued on and, um, you know, at varying speeds. So for the, um, by the time he realized that the accident had already occurred um, he was now traveling on with uh, on the right side of the road versus oncoming traffic and it, i know charges are pending but is there any timing on where, whether there would be an arraignment today uh that's all going to you know depend on in part on her medical care was she trying to get away from him that's part of the investigation you know that's that's yet to be determined um we we just don't know that yet and, and we can't speak to her motive we can only speak to what happened she failed to stop we know that much because she sped up right yeah yeah just describe for where where was the sheriff when he saw the car going the wrong way was he on the westbound side and saw it or was it on an overpass or he was on the eastbound side Correct, going the opposite direction, coming, coming towards him, right. so and then past him. And then he turned around. Correct. Wow. And the wrong way driver was traveling west in the eastbound lane? Correct, yep. And did he send out any alerts or anything before this accident to get uh, you know, additional hands or anyone down there? Uh, yeah, so, the correct. So he'll notify our communications, and we'll have uh, additional deputies responding to that location. Um, there were also uh, state troopers that responded to the scene as well. Is there any reaction from the mother standing outside of her car with all this happening with the nine-year-old? Well, all those statements and everything else is all part of the ongoing investigation. The other vehicles involved, did they rear end the, um, the other uh, vehicles in the head-on? Like, were the other vehicles that... Uh, rear end situation? Yeah. Or or it 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 I'll answer that. Yeah. What, you know, the, there was a, it was a four car collision. What I can tell you is that the other vehicles did not rear end the vehicles that hit head on. It, it was a, it was a, uh, a combination of, 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 of collisions between multiple vehicles, which ended with a head on collision. Uh, just 
mentioned the injuries. There was two minor injuries, but there were three cars besides the wrong way driver. So in one of the cars, there was no injuries. Correct. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's correct. Okay. So one, one of the four, there was no injuries. Okay. Three out of four were sole occupants. The one that was not sole occupant was the one with the child. Okay. Do you have the cars here on the premises? No, we do not. That's all we have for now. They're at different look. They're at they're, they're at secure parking, uh, support, su secure lots, different state police facilities. Thank you. This has been breaking news. 